Hi YouTube family, I hope all is well and everybody is on the road to healing and recovering from narcissistic abuse. I'm sorry if you hear um, whining in the background, it's my dog. I took a ride to the water and thought it is such a beautiful day and I would show you guys the scenery of the water and um, do a quick video on how the narcissist likes to hold things over your head and anything they do for you is basically something that they can use against you at a later time or let's say during an argument and so forth. Um, so I always like to give examples. Um, one being um, I'm in my 40s and still anytime I get into a bickering fight at least 75% of the time somehow it will come up that my mother drove me to school as a child so she was a stay-at-home mom she didn't work and um, so she you know she had that luxury that freedom to be able to take um, uh, take me to school as well as my brother and my brother as far as I know has never had to hear this be brought up in arguments with I mean uh, you already know the roles of scapegoat versus golden child. So this is something that has been brought up so many times as if we can change it now. Again, I'm in my 40s. I still hear about this. Um, I think it's just comical at this point. And please, if there's something that your mother or... Um, somebody in your life that's a narcissist brings up and at this point you also feel it's comical please feel free to share your story down below and let's all get a good laugh um and another thing is they always like to let's say if they are helping you um uh let's say okay for instance another example uh one time i needed to buy a car so she was my my mother was my only form of a ride to go look at cars oh my god let me tell you the experience was draining it was miserable all she did was pick fights the whole time um, she drove me anywhere and I will never forget that experience that wasn't even that long ago that was probably within the last seven eight years and I still had to be I still had to keep hearing about it how she was doing me the favor. Mind you, that's really all I had was her to, well, I guess I could have had a friend or something, but I kind of lived further out, so my friends weren't always so close to where I lived, and I was seeing my mom at that time once a week, so it was just uh, convenience that she would take me to go look for a car. And like I said, it was such a huge ordeal that she just loved having that thumb over my head that I actually really needed her and she made the whole experience absolutely miserable. I could not wait just to find any car just so that I could have the freedom of just doing what I needed to do. Um, but again, it's like they do for you and it's only a way to hold that over your head. It's like a power trip, whether it is a narcissistic mother, whether it is a spouse, whether it's just um, a boyfriend, a sibling, whatever they do, it's not genuinely out of their heart. It is something that they can tally up and throw in your face at a later date. So this is just a quick video, just um, because that was kind of on my mind and I wanted to check in with everybody that has visited my channel and I appreciate the views, I appreciate the um, subscriptions, I hope all is well. I do plan on doing more videos and I know I say that in every video and then months go by. I did have my father pass, I did have one of my dogs pass right before she turned 17 um, about eight months ago and my father passed away um, uh, February 22nd and I also moved in January so life has been um, upside down but I do plan on keeping up with this more so um, in the near future but I just wanted to check in and say thank you and I apologize for anybody that has commented on other videos if it took me a while to reply back I am truly sorry and again I hope everybody is on the road to recovery and I wish you all well and um, be blessed
Until next time. Bye-bye.